Okay folks, we're just gonna have a look along the edges of the dunes here if we can find anybody that's awake and moving by now. You can see there's what we're looking for, the tracks. Got another critter for you here. This is the cousin of the Peringuis adder that we saw earlier. This is the horned adder. And horned adders aren't unique to the Namib, but they are unique nonetheless. Each snake that you find, depending on where it is, will be a different color and a different pattern. You'll never find the same looking one. Uh, this one again, found by a beautiful track that leads into the bush. And these guys can bury into the sand, but it takes them a bit longer than the Peringuis adder. So you can't just watch them digging. These guys take a couple of minutes, but they do the same. They ambush hunt. They'll dig in and they'll wait for prey to come to them and then they will use their tail to hunt. So the name horned adder comes about because of modified scales sticking out on top of the head. Looks like a little devil. Those are decoration purely. They have no purpose whatsoever. And this snake reaches a maximum of about 45 centimeters and it stocks a cytotoxin only. So if it bites you again, painkillers, antibiotics, 10 days at home, lovely fat fingers, wait for the pain and swelling to disappear. So we're just going to pop him out here just so you can have a little bit of a better look before he goes into the bush. Just get him out into the open slightly here. There you go. No deaths for humans have been recorded from the snake bite. These guys also are viviparous, which means the eggs hatch inside the body. They don't lay eggs as such, so they give live birth. This species, anywhere between three and 20 babies are born in a season, uh, depending on the rainfall. So if there's good rainfall in a year, 20 babies will be born because there is an abundance of food available. If it's a terrible rain year, only two to three, four little guys are born because there's not as much food available in the area. But uh, horned adders you'll find throughout Southern Africa, but uh, in the Namib is the hotspot to actually find them in the world.